President Biden meeting with the heads of major corporations to talk about the growing supply chain shortages. You may have noticed it's harder to find certain essentials when you go out shopping or try to buy them online. The supply chain shortage is affecting millions of consumers, but what's happening at ports here in South Florida? That's the big question. Look with Leanne Morning Hong is live to show us. Leanne. Yeah, consumers just means folks like you and me, anyone who does any kind of shopping. It's affecting so many aspects of American life. But we spoke to the port director at Port Everglades who says that they're not seeing the same type of log jam that's happening over off the coast of California. In fact, he believes that the solution to these problems may lie in part right here in the Sunshine State. From the grocery store to the gas station, the supply chain crisis is jacking up prices and slowing down economic recovery. The pandemic has disrupted all markets. We're seeing that as we reopen the economy and demand surged, uh, firms haven't been able to keep up. But supply and demand are only part of the issue. Partly because of factory shutdowns in China. On the U.S. side, there's a shortage of longshore workers and truckers to actually get stuff off of shipping containers. Dozens of cargo ships are idling at two of the biggest ports in the United States. There are more ships than there are parking spots. But you won't find those issues at our local ports. We have not had any issue with the stacking up of vessels that you've seen. Uh, in Southern California. Port Everglades Director Jonathan Daniel says they are seeing an increase in cargo ships. This has really become a, a perfect storm of time of year uh, as a lot of suppliers are taking uh, delivery of goods that will go on the shelves for the holiday season. On top of that, you have a significant amount of money, so that buying power is extremely, extremely strong. The CEO of the Florida Ports Council is urging shipping companies to call on Florida's ports to help ease the logjam, a solution Daniels is on board with. For any cargo that traditionally would go through the West Coast that needs to make it to the East Coast, Florida ports are an, are an option. And so no surprise that Daniel is on board with this. He is, in fact, the chair of the Florida Ports Council. Meanwhile, we asked him whether any shipping companies have taken him up on his uh, proposal to have people be redirected over to uh, South Florida ports, perhaps Port Everglades. He says that that has not happened just yet. For now, reporting live in Dania Beach, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.